Amazing. I, I love how you also framed it, like the the paddles between entrepreneurship and and magic, right? You're you're imagining and you have to communicate and captivate the audience, whoever it is, customers, partners, VCs, of this impossible future that is purely magical and then work backwards from I it. Mean, it's beautiful. Uh, well said. And you also said AI and magic. AI is magic. Explore that for me. I mean, is there something deeper there other than the cultural element of how, how, how is AI and machine learning really magic? Well, it is. I mean, I think many people, when you enter into computer science, you learn programming. And, you know, it seems like a mysterious field. But once you achieve a certain level of proficiency, you're like, oh, I get it. It's me telling instructions in a precise way to make the machine perform a certain operation. It's really not magic. It's pretty straightforward. But AI and machine learning is different. So with AI, you take a, a model, a machine learning model, maybe a neural network or a genetic algorithm, and it's, it's not designed for any particular purpose. But then typically you will give it input data and output data pairs. You say, if I give you this input, this is what I want, ex expect as output. Yep. If I give you this different out input, this is what I want as output. And you give it to the machine without explaining what to do. Sure. You don't, you don't explain what the differences are, what it is that makes one different. You just give raw input, raw output. And then over time, the system, as you show it more examples, it adapts and it comes up with its own solution, not your solution, its own solution on how to do this, solve this problem. And in fact, the, the machine learning researcher who gave it all those examples and even set up the model in the first place has no idea, has no understanding how or why the system works to achieve it. So at some level, Fair. even for the, the researcher building it, it feels there's like a little element of magic, whereas in programming, it's not magic. I say X equals 10, X equals X plus one. Now X equals 11, not yeah. magic. Not magic. You, but you, you say, here's you know a, a, an, an example where it first was like hammered into me was the example of text-to-speech, which is used in Siri. When Siri talks to you in a voice, people say, well, how did text-to-speech work? In the old days, around the 80s, it was all about expert systems. And what AI was then was rules. So to build a text-to-speech system, you would bring in a world's expert, a linguist, who would know all the rules of how to pronounce the language. If you have the letter A and there's two consonants, it's then A. And if you have a letter A followed by one consonant with an E, it's a, pronounced A, etc. You just type in all these rules. But they were always wrong and there were too many of them. Well, a, a, a machine learning researcher, Terry Sejanowski, he took a model and he took a dictionary and he just started passing words in through it where he said, here's the word because every word in the dictionary and here's the pronunciation as the output because every dictionary has the word and the pronunciation. He just ran it through and the system learned how to pronounce English, no rules. I'm like, oh my gosh, if he wanted to do that with that another language that he didn't even know, he could feed it in, same model, no work, magic. Now it speaks this other language. So that, that for me, there is a little element of magic in AI. I think it's, it's uh, amazing.